In this video, we'll look at how Riedel smart panels can be used to control all kinds of things using Skyhoy technology. We'll um, in particular look at quick classes, which is a little concept we have where um, six buttons typically on some panel can be used to control like um, select functionality from cameras, video switches, routers, and so forth. And we can put that onto the different sections key blocks of smart panels. In the first video, we covered how routing works. So there we routed a video hub, a Kumo, a SWPO8 router like a Micron from Riedel themselves, and also a, an aux bus on an ATEM switcher. In, um, in this video, we'll um, take that different approach and look at the quick classes, which is like more versatile pieces of configuration. But in any case, um, from that previous video, we have this configuration set up where on these uh, the smart panel we have uh, been doing this. Now, actually to clean up from the previous video, what we did, what we did was we um, changed the key blocks a little bit around. So key blocks, um, the way the real smart panels can assign the Ex, um, the availability of buttons and displays to the external application which we are using in this case. So let me just set this back into the original state and also go and reboot our application. The XPanel Regal Smart Panel, which is a software translation tool that we have written, the technology that basically binds these two together. All right, so that is now being reset. And to uh, show you this, I just need to go over to what is called quick class here. I do that for both of the panels. Um, let me see. I, yeah, uh, no, 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 that was general camera control. That's a different video. Okay, so now we have quick class in both cases here. And then I need to add some quick classes, whatever it is. <laughs> and we'll discover that right now. So for instance, when you add a quick class, like pressing that plus icon, you can, for instance, do that for an ATEM switch. I have one on my network here. Don't I? Uh, nah, this one is disconnected. Um, I thought I had one. Well, I, I should have. Ah, oh, wait, no, wait. We'll select this one. Okay, so that ATEM switcher, if that is there, is currently not connected. I don't know why it says it is, but let's just remove it. So now we are on the ATEM 2ME constellation here. Let's um, do a select the Kumo as well. And if we go into the quick class configuration, you can see that for the ATEM and for the Kumo, there are different like configurations that you can choose, especially for the ATEM. There are a number of things you can go between. Either you can have audio control, macro control, and super source control, etc. video switcher control. Uh, so maybe, 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 maybe I actually do want to um add the ASIM constellation like once again let me do that here so we'll just add this and inside the quick class we could pick a different one like video switcher control this one would be great okay now let's go to the um one rack unit smart panel you already see some content down there we'll get back to that in a moment but if i go to the uh, one rack unit smart panel then we could, in a similar way, pick this one for Video Hub, and then we could also do the ATEM Constellation, and maybe if we go in here, we could pick ATEM Macro Basic. Let's try that one. All right, so how does these quick classes work? Well, um, the, the first thing you need to do when you are in this situation is you need to pick um, which one is um, of the quick classes. We added two for the one rack unit version, we added three down here. So basically over here, I would pick, okay, let me do that one up here. We would pick the Kumo up there and then um, take this one for this. And then this is sort of undecided. It would be, uh, it would make most sense, right? If you had like one of each each place, but um, yeah, basically you, you pick that. And now you can see for the, um, um, quick class number three that we have here, there's um, upstream keyer cut. So we can basically turn on and off upstream keyers. This would be great to see. ASIM software control. Let's just have that open so we can see as I am basically turning upstream keyers on and off, downstream keyers on and off, similar functionality. I can do a cut and I can also do uh, auto transition. 
So now I'm controlling controlling an ASIM switcher from my my smart panel, basically. If I go back here to page, you can see I'm now back to my main menu, so I could actually delegate something else down here. If I pick the Kumo, I get the same as up here, so that's maybe not so useful. Um, once again, it, it might be somehow smarter if I just stick to the ATEM constellation control down there. Um, so turning these pages is, um, yeah, it basically brings me back into that uh, menu and then scrolls forth and back between these. Probably I won't do that a whole lot when I first have selected my quick class, like in this case, then I'll just stick to it. Okay, so these six buttons here are now controlling a Kumo router, right? And uh, I'm already um, basically assigning sources, but on the button uh, over here, I can, um, first of all, I can go and uh, save and recall presets. And uh, I think if I press up, or if I do this again, if I press up, I get to actually select my output differently. And I can also select between different output banks by rotating this uh, encoder here. And then I could pick, let's say, destination number 10. And then as I'm exiting this, let me see, like that, we are now back to destination number 10 as it is being set in the displays and I can route on my Kuma router. So that's what the quick class does in this case. Over here, we have control of a um, um, ATEM switcher for uh, audio control, it looks like. And it um, it is kind of indicated that I have a master control. If I can rotate this one now, I would really love to have this one leveled up a little bit. But you can see I was able to roll the encoder so that you can see the master volume inside the ATEM switch has changed. So now I'm actually adjusting volume. Or I could also just pull this so you can see that it's reflected in the display. And then for the input source, input number one that I have selected, I'm able to also see the volume change. I have a balance that uh, is, is, is changeable. And of course, the point is that I should change them on the panel. And you can see that is now happening in the ATEM software. So that's what my quick class does here. A little just focused audio control. We also have um, rotation of the on auto follow video off state of that channel. So that's in place as well. Up here we had it for macro control. So macro one, two, three, four, five, and so on. We can um, go through different pages here. So you can browse these pages if you want by turning the encoder, which brings you forth and back. Or you can also uh, usually press the button um, now, in this case, we are basically going forth and back in the pages of macro. So let's just s select this macro page. And now you can see I'm basically uh, going forth and back in these over here on this uh, button, uh, which uses the rotary encoder to go forth and back. Now, let's, um, let, let's press this one and we'll see that we're actually playing back macro number one. It's currently playing for as long as um, we do not stop it, but now I'm stopping it again. So there you have macro control on the quick classes. Quick classes are ways you can quickly assign small snippets of functionality to your real smart panel for control of anything Skahoy basically supports. The list is growing all the time. We're using them on many of our own controllers. So the possibility of interacting easily with vMix Audio or a Kros Scene Macro or an ATEM switcher or a Hyperdeck is so ready at hand using the quick classes. And we have configurations for the smart panels where you can do this. Inside the smart panel's own configuration software, you can assign the key block so you can mix it up with intercom functionality if you want. And of course, this is just expanding your opportunities with Skahoy. Using smart panels is meaningful to many of you guys because you already have intercom in your OB trucks. Obviously, if you go to um, look at Skahoy's portfolio of products, we have a lot of products. And if you go to darkroomskahoy.com, you'll find that we have a lot of rack units our own. Just type in rack and you'll see we have uh, rack controllers of various sorts configurations with you know more or less buttons. We also have this one would be Rack Fusion Live, which is like special device for 
combine PDC and switching control. Take one like Rack Pro, really popular in many such contexts, very beautiful controller with NKK keys and displays. So that's also an alternative. You can combine these two because actually that panel could run the integration with the Regal Smart Panels because all it takes is this little piece of software I showed you earlier today, which is the XPanel Regal Smart Panel application that basically takes the Smart Panel IP address and then it converts the Smart Panel into a raw panel compliant device that can be integrated easily in an application like Reactor. If you like this video, please subscribe and follow us on social media. You never know when the next video is out, but I am looking forward to it.